Starlight, your tonsils are very large. And so are your sisters. They must be removed. <laughs> if you're wondering, tonsils are the things that hang back down in the back of your throat. It, a lot of people call it a mouth chandelier. I've been told by many people it's no big deal getting them removed. Can't really do anything. And you get popsicles. Well, I have something to say. They are liars! We had to wake up at 6 o'clock in the morning. I personally was very scared. I thought they cut your throat open, so I was scared of waking up in the middle of it and dying. Because I also just don't like anyone touching my throat. Turns out they just bleed your head up and cut them out. Not that that made me feel any better. My nerves were going haywire. So I just took a deep breath and rela just relaxed. Might as well spend my last minutes relaxed. Because I don't want to spend my last minutes of life screaming. So they took us to our rooms, then we just waited. For a while. We... Uh, had to get into the hospital gown. Mine was just too big and even had a hole in the pocket. And then we just relaxed some more. So yeah, we didn't do that much until the sleep. What an interesting time. Nadia, my little sister, was actually going to go first. With, and um... In case these are your last moments, I love you. Nora, stop scaring your sister. But then we really just relaxed, and my sister went into surgery. Kind of scary. Then, like, only like 30 minutes later or something, she came out. That was actually really surprising, because we expected it to take a, a longer time. And then I was, then I was just thinking about the anesthesia, because from what I heard, it's like you just blink. And then when you wake back up, you're, you're still just kind of out of it, but you're awake. And I just didn't want it to be like, the... You you all seen those wisdom teeth videos where it's like them being just all loopy and stuff, saying the weirdest things. Personally, I did not want that to happen because I would never live it down and people would be constantly talking about it until the end of time. Probably not, but you know what I mean. pretty okay if it was just gonna be feel like I just blinked my head brain so was very ready to be unconscious so they wheeled me back there and they put the mask on me they, it was starburst scented then they said as soon as you smell the f something that smells weird blow out like you're blowing out birthday candles sure doc then, I felt like I just fell out of consciousness. Then I woke up and kicked the nurse. When I woke up again, like fully woke up, my dad was in the room. But my throat felt like it was on fire. So he gave me some ice water, which helped my throat a bit. But also, like, you know, when... It also kind of felt in my throat like whenever it's a really hot day, you jump into the pool and it's like those first moments in the pool where it's like freezing. <laughs> then we relaxed some more for like, we had, an, we had three hours till we had to leave. 
on my way to our car, I actually got to ride in a wheelchair chair for the first time. That was cool. Then we got some slushies at a gas station. And we actually got large ones instead of the puny regulars. Then we went to Mowart. Walmart. And we got some stuff. Nadia got Encanto dolls that were 48 bucks. She hasn't been treating them the best when it comes to certain things. She's constantly taking their clothes off and I don't know why. What's wrong with you, sis? And uh, I got journal number three, which I actually have with me right now. Then we went home and just relaxed for two weeks. It's very boring. Because I wasn't allowed to do anything. So if you're going into tonsil surgery, my only tips for you are survive on popsicles. Yep, popsicles. You're actually not allowed to eat the cherry ones because they throat the buffalo blue so well. So yeah, um, sorry this didn't release yesterday because it was supposed to release yesterday. But, you know, I actually, me and my friend Sophia went to watch the newest Sonic the Hedgehog movie. That was cool. But yeah didn't do that much over recovery, so I decided to just not bore you with it, as well as just, like, my voice sounds different now, to the fact my friend, my best friend Brayden said, I sound like George not found screaming whenever I laugh, and I don't know why. Oh well, uh, good morning guys. Yeah, it's pretty early morning, but I gotta leave at 9.30 to go up to Kokomo, which is an hour stray from here. But yeah, hope you like the video. See you like next month or something. There will probably be another video uploaded next week, but you know.